What you are going to watch today on this channel is the first video of the next playlist. This is Muddy Muscles Course 2 that we are going to launch in the future. It's coming. The work is being done. Shooting wagera ho rahi, editing wagera ho raha hai. So what you are watching now is the first video of the next course. The first course is already there. It's done better and separate. This is a sneak peek into the first tutorial that is the freehand rotation of your lathi. It is the first video. <coughs> Enjoy. And also if you like what I am wearing today, this is the latest merch design from Karate TV available on Kadak Merch. The link will be description. Meditating Sri Hanuman just before the war. So this is the calm before the storm. All that is what it signifies. Signifies? Signifies? Jovi hai. <laughs> it's available in black, grey, white, royal navy blue, full sleeve and hoodies. All that things are there. Do check out. क्योंकि थोड़ा सा दिल के पास है खुद मैंने डिजाइन किया था जो भी है आपको अच्छा लगे तो बताना कमेंट सेक्शन में बताना एंड इसके अलावा जरूर चेक भी कर लेना द लिंक इज इन डिस्क्रिप्शन गेट वन फॉर योर सेल्फ कॉटन है अच्छा है जो भी है मतलब वो तो आपको पता ही है टी शर्ट है टी शर्ट क्या टी शर्ट तो टी शर्ट होती है लेकिन उसमें डिजाइन है डिजाइन अच्छा है डिजाइन पहनोगे तो अच्छा लगेगा है कि नहीं हाँ बस ठीक है बस चलो वेलकम बैक इन दिस सीरीज यू विल बी लर्निंग फ्यू फ्यू ऑफ माई फेवरेट Thalari and Silambam inspired Lathi martial arts come exercise moves. So these are basically martial art moves. These are techniques. These are drills that is done with Lathi in traditional martial arts like Kalari Pert and Silambam inspired from both of them. I've been practicing these from, a, from quite some time now. But more than a martial art technique, I have also been using this as a forearm and shoulder workout. Because once you understand how to rotate, once you understand how to do this, you will feel the strength, you will feel the stress, you will feel all that challenge that is required to do something like this. Because not only as a martial art move, all these moves, all these techniques can also be used as a very effective, very challenging functional fitness exercise because you're gripping something and then you're moving it and then you're doing it with the same speed and in the middle of the movement you might be increasing your strength you might be jumping you might be doing things so this is the best possible functional fitness training that you can get and one more thing that i would like to share from my personal experience of practicing all this is that if you're a martial artist if you're doing your empty hand stuff, you are doing some boxing, you are doing kickboxing on a punching bag and everything is okay. No matter how silly you think this is, once you start training with weapons, you hold something in your hand and then you start training with it, you will see your strength level will go to the next level. <laughs> because this, this is not exaggeration. When I do all that practice, when I am doing whatever I am doing with my hands, it's okay. But what I am essentially doing is that I am controlling my own body. But now there is a new addition to that. I am controlling my body plus I am also controlling this. That requires more strength and suddenly you will feel. You will feel for yourself and this is a 100% guarantee by me. You will feel the difference. You will feel that grip strength. You will feel a different energy level. Especially in your hands, your forearms, your grip. Once you start training with weapons. So these are some of the few moves, techniques taken from Kalari Pert and Silemmum which are traditionally martial art techniques which have their application in fighting but that's not the only use the speciality is not just as martial arts we are also looking at this as a form of exercise so you can look at this as a form of traditional strength training exercise that comes from martial arts it is martial art inspired upper body arm strength and also will include leg exercises along with these moves so in the first one what we are going to do is a proper wrist roll this can be seen as a basic move to all the lathi exercises, lathi drills that you can be done. This is lathi, this is bow, this is your staff. Different names are there in different parts of our country. But to see this as a mind muscle coordination drill is also something very effective because it's not about just rotating and catching it. I'm not just going on doing something in a repetitive, in a repetitive mode. What I'm doing over here is 
I am leaving one and catching the next and then miss one and the next and leave and catch and leave this and catch next and this and that and I have to control all this in my mind according to the speed if I am going faster I have to understand when to catch when to leave all that plus it is also a forearm exercise so it's not just challenging to your body it's also challenging to your so what we are doing is improving our skill improving our control on our own body so let us see what is this simple move you will need to hold this at the center so this is your lati how to understand the center it is very simple use two fingers like this and very slowly bring them together try to bring them together slowly if you do it fast it's not going to happen you have to go it slowly and slowly and slowly and automatically it will adjust in such a way that it will land up in this center point or the center of mass for this particular body and that is where you hold now i am going to hold it like this in such a way that my palm is facing down and then it's about rotating this clockwise my clockwise would be this this is how a clock moves so this is what we are doing in clockwise direction but i need to place my hand over here right hand is over here left hand goes up but it's not just the first one the first chance you get you don't hold on to this you kind of leave this and then hold to the next this is the difficult part starting again this is your technique right hand over here rotate in your clockwise direction leave the first opportunity leave it and hold on to the next one the next one you don't have to rotate your hand like this you can leave it and use your thumb you can do this instead of doing this so over here leave the first opportunity grab the next one and then what we do is continue this clockwise motion leave the first opportunity don't catch over here i will miss this and catch to the next one and then continue leave the first catch the next leave the first catch the next leave here catch leave catch leave. oh sorry just because we are talking about rotation and spinning the lati doesn't mean you have to keep moving your hands this is the mistake beginners usually make that they will do this and they will try to move their hands the hands stay in the same position the position is nothing but your right hand is over here palm facing down left hand is above the right hand right is under the left left is above the right and all we are doing is this this is all we are doing we are just using the shoulders some part of your forearm we are using the wrist we are using the fingers we are using the hands but not moving them it's happening over here only right stays over here left stays over here and you can add the stick very simply nothing but one and two and three and four if you forget about the lati if you forget about the lati it is very simply just this this is all we are doing but now there is a detail in this if i keep my left hand over my right hand over here and i rotate it like this clockwise direction problem is here the first opportunity itself it hits my hand but this is not where i am supposed to hold it right i'm not supposed to do this i'm supposed to leave this and hold on to the next so that calculation you have to do yourself you have to place your hand in such a way that the first one you miss and the next one you hold also see it is not to be done like this it's difficult to hold over here let your thumb be in this position so that when you open up you can kind of get something like this ye kabutar ja 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 is the kind of position we need so you are here palm facing down left above right miss the first opportunity hold on to the next one and now continuing the motion in clockwise direction go down miss the first opportunity that is what i told don't keep it like this keep it like this miss the first opportunity hold on to the next and then one two three and four and five and six and seven eight nine now if you look at my shoulders if you look at the elbow what is happening is i'm going down i'm going up and down and up and down and up and down this itself is a good exercise for your shoulders for your forearms for understanding movement for understanding your own body this is good for your mind muscle coordination you are constantly calculating when should i hold when should i not hold so this is not just huh, it is not this <coughs> that's what children do 
when they play this is not that you have to constantly calculate if my speed is slow i am going like this if it is fast i need to catch up with it i need to understand constantly where to hold where to leave and this will be very easy to understand once you get it in your first person perspective i made a video so that you feel that you are doing it yourself you will be doing it like this like this like this like this essentially clockwise direction miss the first one hold on to the next miss the first one hold on to the next miss the first one hold on to the next miss the first one hold on to the next yahi kar rahe hain aur kuch nahi